Hey, Pinga. I bet this fucking boat will sink halfway to Miami. Hell of an office, Juan. I think of myself as a second-hand killer. Ah, my favorite guerrilla. Want me to make you the best Supremos and resolver weapons? You need depleted uranium. Lucky for you, Castillo has stashed his supply with the biggest guns on the island, his anti-aircraft cannons. When you got some of that sweet uranium, you can bring it back to my office, or to one of my associates. If you capture an FND base, a member of Team Juan will move in and give you access to my inventory. And don't forget, rank has its privileges. When Clara is kind enough to promote you, we'll be able to hook you up with better gear. Just have those pesos ready. Even in revolution, nothing comes free. And here's some advice. Guerrilla to guerrilla. Have some fun for fuck's sake. Die with a smile on your face. You'll be back. They always come back. Once you're back at Santuario, shake the trees for guns, ammo, new believers. Castillo was surprised. Let's keep it that way. Welcome to Libertad, Danny. I can leave any time. What's the rush? Inspiring. Let's free Yara, shall we?
Castile controls Oliviera with soldados, slaves, and blood. The capital is a stronghold. We take Esperanza, we free Yara. Best chance we got to weaken Castillo is to hit military targets like FND bases and checkpoints. But most important, we have to surround Esperanza and trap Castillo in his cage. That means targeted operations that will unite the revolution and make Libertad stronger. To do that, I need you to recruit three groups in Yara to fight with Libertad. Each is waging war across Yara with a different piece of Castillo's empire, all controlled by his inner circle. In El Este, foreign invaders like Mickey Industries suck our resources dry, and Admiral Benitez defends Castillo's poison lifeline. But the old legends of 67 can help us turn the tide. They're hiding in the jungles of the highest mountains of Yara. Their greatest guerrilla, El Tigre, is waiting with open arms to help you bring them on our side. Then we have Valle de Oro. Not just the engine of Castillo's Viviro operation, but also his propaganda machine, run by his Minister of Culture, Maria Marquesa. But I have some old friends who can run our counter-propaganda campaign, Maximas Matanzas. They were the voice of the protests and can mobilize Yara's dissidents to fight for Libertad. They've gone dark. Last seen at a fort in Balaceras. We need to find them before Castillo's forces do. In Madrugada, we have Castillo's nephew, Jose, a slave driver who forces outcasts to grow that poison Viviro tobacco. But the Montero family is waging war against Jose. They hate visitors, but I have intel on a mechanic who has a workshop in Costa del Mar. His name is Philip Barzaga, and he's their gatekeeper. If I were you, Danny, I'd start in Madrugada. We take back that tobacco with the Montero's help, and we got Castillo's Viviro at the source. You just need to find this mechanic, Philly. I'll be here actioning targeted Libertad strikes against Castillo throughout Yara. Hang on. I'm gonna get all these groups to sign up for Libertad by myself? How? Simple. You help. Any way you can. I send a squad to these groups, I'm an invader. I send a scout, then I'm not serious. With you, they get my best career without politics and bullshit. Just help. Libertad takes the capital, we slit Anton's throat, maybe drink his blood, etc., etc. Then he needs a walk. Viva Libertad, Jefa. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Tara's best guerrilla, you are. You're not listening. Translate, Juan. The accent. Clara hides it best she can, but she was born rich. From a family of true Yaren she left behind. She can shoot, bleed, drink with us all she wants. But she can't hide the stink of the upper class. What's that have to do with me? You are an orphan, Danny. Poor. From the dirt. When they see you, they don't see politics. They see they have no excuse. She's using me. See? And you're using her right back. Do you want to kill Anton? See. Si. You want to free Yara? Sure you do. But here's what Clara can't say, but you and I both know. You want this. You're a guerrilla. And for a guerrilla, the shit my pants rush of an ambush, the smell of sulfur burning your nostrils, it's... It's... It's fun. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me.
listen to Juan. You kill soldiers, Castillo's going to send his special forces after you. Know what makes them so special? They're specially trained and heavily armed. Fuck you, smartass. But yes, you've been warned. looking for in Madrugada again? You want Carlos Montero, the leader of a group of farmers trying to take back their land from the army. But he'll never meet with you. Why not? He's what you would call old school. Doesn't like outsiders and doesn't trust anyone except the family. Great. Don't worry. Philly can help you. He's your inn. He's at his shop near the Martinez airstrip. Ah, nothing comes easy. Nothing worth fighting for. Suerte, Danny. This place is colorful. You Philly? I'm Danny. No, 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 Philly here. Whoa, what's in your bag? Nowhere I can find him. Cerveza. So who's in charge? Everything got another purpose. And you come here for a second. Did you just come here? Can you hold that down for me? That's a dead man switch. One move. So, why are you here? I'm with Clara from Libertad. Didn't she say I was coming? Clara, Libertad. Those are big names to throw around. <laughs> but I don't see Clara. I only see you. 
So why are you here? Got family to save? Got kids? No. So what do you want out of this? I want my finger off this switch. And I want to know who's going to help me take down Castillo. Okay. You're safe now. <laughs> so you're Clara's hero, huh? I'm no hero. Sonny, so I want you want. Feel it magic, baby. Want us to help Libertad? You need Carlos Montero, oh. our backbone. His family is going to save our land. Great. Take me to him. No, 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 no. Step one, Philly needs to love you. Step two, baby Montero needs to love you. Baby Montero. <laughs> See that? Chorizo, come on, let's go back. La Espada, his daughter. You know, last time I heard, she went to hit that outcast plantation east of here. She likes you, you're in. A good luck finding her. La Espada, oh, man, she's a fiera. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Next time I see you, I want to play with that crazy backpack, deal? No. Well, then don't let the potion get you down. <laughs> Fucking comedian. Danny, you know, the guerrilla you tried to blow up? Oh, the hero! What's this plantation look like? Uh, you know, uh, cigars, white suits, dinner parties, except with guns. Come on, big city hero. We're in the west now. It's a plantation! It's an old building with tobacco all around. Miss Bala got her size on the lieutenant, so she's probably inside. Who is she after? I don't know. The Monteros play quiet here. And you might actually want to try doing the same. Hey, Clara. Make contact with Carlos Montero yet? Not exactly. Apparently, I have to find his daughter first. Ah, oh, yes, Camila. Do whatever it takes. We need the farmers behind us if we're going to take the West. Heading there now. Call you once I've met Carlos. It'll be great, Danny. Carlos is going to love you. Come here. What's up? Guerrilla. Got word of an anti-aircraft site. Marking it on your map for destruction. I appreciate it.
This espada is in fucking around. Shit, another one. Fantastico. Please, Senor Presidente. What makes Vivido so very good? The sword? They should call her the blade. And our farmers grow the modified tobacco in our fields. Our workers package it in our factories. And uh, in terms of foreign invent, we achieved this side. Binga, she's fucking good. Nobody believed. But I never doubted her abilities, because true yards had the strength and ambition to see my vision, to rebuild paradise. Senor Presidente. What the fuck is happening up there? You're going to be threatening me with death like it's supposed to scare me? Oh, of course. The legendary... Who the fuck are you? Danny, from Libertad. You, baby Montero? Baby Montero? <laughs> you fucking feely. I need to talk with your father. Clara wants to make a deal. Clara's name doesn't mean shit around here. You work for Clara Garcia? You're Carlos Montero's daughter? <gasps> Please don't kill me. <laughs> Tell me where your lieutenant went. Promise you won't kill me first. Ah, oh, Cayo Villarreal! Cayo Villarreal! It's so safe, Private Island. Got what you need? No. 
But it's enough. And him? And he's gonna tell his boss, Jose Castillo, that I'm gonna kill all of his lieutenants one by one. That's for fun. Then I'm gonna free all of the outcasts making that bullshit tobacco. That's for my people. And finally, he's gonna tell Jose that I'm gonna slit his throat right aquí. And that, that's for me. I feel like I should write this down. Just tell that short little pig fuck this sword was here. And tell your friends they're on the wrong team. Let's go see Papa. We'll take the horses outside. Better. Okay. Intruders! We got soldiers down! Intruders! Sounds like they found the bodies you sliced up. Military's going to be on our ass. Intruders! We got soldiers down! Intruders! <laughs> Dummy. Make these cabrones pay!
they're going. So much for quiet. Let's go. This way. Come on. Right behind you. Keep up and stay close, okay? Let's ride. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. I'm a friend. Pretty good, no? Yeah! Huh. Okay, I think we lost them. See, we're good. You ride well. You're not bad yourself. Where did you learn to shoot like that? Military Academy, 16 to 21. Mm, we can use that. I also make a mean mojito. <laughs> Believe that when I taste it. Haven't had anything but Philly septic tank shit for weeks. I'm going to pretend that's not a thing. Seems like Castillo's made things pretty rough out here. His nephew Jose is the real problem for us. We call that tiny bastard Napoleon the Pequeño. Little Napoleon? Cute. The name is cuter than the man. The Monteros have been on this land for 200 years, and now he's turned it all into slave camps for that Vivido bullshit. Jose works our people non-stop with a gun to the head. Come mierda even took my papa. He was in those fields too long. Poison made him sick. Not that he'd ever admit it. Now Papa leads a little revolution of his own. You're going to need Libertad if you want to stop Castillo. You're not the first one to tell me that. But Papa's got a bit of pride in him. Only trust his own blood. You're a Montero or you're a nobody. So what you're saying is, I'm fucked. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's something different about you. You're not like the others Clara said. Maybe he'll like you. Maybe. How far away is this camp of yours? Not far. You in a rush? No, no. It's okay. Getting some good cardio in. Now, guerrera. The sword and the hero. <laughs> nice to see you two alive. Got all find it, Hannah. Huh? It was all trouble, but lucky <laughs> for you, this one's good. <laughs> well, you're just in time. I'll have his making dinner. <laughs> Okay. Who were you? Scouting. Bullshit. Who's that? My name is. I'm not asking you. Easy, Papa. This is Danny from Libertad. Libertad don't mean shit to me. And where's our blindfold? Papa, look around. These are farmers, not fighters. You want Chorizo to go out and blow up Napoleon and Pequeño? Hey, 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 leave Chorizo out of this. Our people need to learn to be a guerrilla, Camila, from us. That's why I'm here. Don't look like no guerrilla to me. All I see is a tourist. The tourist fucks us. It's on you, Camila. He likes you. 
Welcome to Finca Montero, Hero. Come on, Choris. Save it for the serve, buddy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 